the grim dark is full of weird and awesome constructs that are miles ahead of what we have today in our time. There were many races that have gone up the technological ladder only to fall back down and the Imperium of Man is one such example, having reached a golden age of technology in the past only to be thrown down from its peak of innovation to a darker, more backwards timeline. There is a general theme of stagnation and decline since the Age of Strife, where many advanced technologies are lost over the millennia and the ability to produce new high-tech items are either limited or over-regulated due to the fear of committing heresy. But there are certain notable individuals that have managed to transcend this fear and created devices which are mind-blowing, using their status as loopholes. Yet at the same time, there are many tech savants of the Xenos and Chaos factions. These are not hindered by such stuff. So here in this video, alongside humans of the Imperium, we will include 8 great and notable inventors, scientists and engineers from, from all the factions of the Grim Dark. So let's get to it. The first one, Ferris Manners. A Primarch, the gene sire of the Medusan Iron Hands Legion, and now a chapter, Ferris Manners indeed possess exceptional skill in craftsmanship, innovation and metallurgy which then reflected the Iron Hand's focus on technological augmentation and perfection of the human form through cybernetics. His hands, covered in metallic substance called the Necrodermis, showcases unique abilities allowing him to shape metal with precision and power. This attribute symbolized his mastery over technology and his role as a creator and engineer. He was meant to be the machinist of the Emperor and his work would have brought forth new ways for the nascent Imperium to deal with its foes. In the past when he was young, he was known as the Gorgon on the planet of Medusa, and through his teachings the Medusan clans then forged better weapons and stronger machines with which to fight to prove their worth to survive. The most notable creation of his is the Fireblade, which he gave to his brother Fulgrim. Crafted as a perfect weapon, it was a power sword capable of generating immense heat and burned with a never-ending flame. But sadly he was killed by Fulgrim before his potential was reached. Number 2. Careball Hal an ancient and enigmatic figure, Kerbal Hall, the once brilliant fabricated general of Mars, has always displayed a formidable aptitude as an inventor and an engineer, thus pushing him through the ranks of the tech priests even before the coming of the emperor. He is later marked by his profound contributions during the later days of the Great Crusade and then for the traders during the Horus Heresy in the early 31st millennium. He was an esteemed figure within the Mechanicum, known for his deep beliefs in the Omnisized teachings. However, his path took a dark turn as he succumbed to the allure of the forces of chaos becoming the first leader of the Dark Mechanicum. Gelbor Hall's mastery over technology and innovation allowed him to unleash the Schism of Mars, a devastating civil war that engulfed the Red Planet. His alliance with Horus and his contributions to the Dark Mechanicum showcased his inventiveness as he crafted mighty warships like the Furious Abyss and spearheaded advanced technologies. The fact that he was a fabricated jet general says it all. He can recreate a lot of lost technology and study the STCs without hindrance. But after his fall to chaos, he would have gone over the line and made monstrous machines for the Dark Mechanicum. Number 3. Archimedes I know it's strange to see an orc here in this list, but let me remind you that unlike other races who have to learn or be educated on stuff, the orcs are genetically created to know stuff, like instinct or breathing. So Archimedes, an enigmatic mech boss, gives his technological brilliance to the Orc warlord Gaskell and also to his great war. Despite his elusive identity, Imperial scholars have struggled to unmask the ingenious Orc technician aptly dubbed as Archimedes. Though his identity eludes identification, his ingenious creations have been consistently observed in the course of the Orc incursions on the hive world of Armageddon. Archimedes' technological innovations combined with Gaskell's strategic vision have granted the Great War a distinct advantage, notably evident in the employment of the teleporter strikes. Gaskell has astutely employed these tactics to ambush adversaries by appearing vulnerable, then utilizing teleporter technology to deploy overwhelming forces. These are like teleporting devices. This strategy drastically altered the course of battle in favor of the Greenskins. Archimedes' talents extend to crafting other extensively customized Gargans and even Orc submersibles. As a consequence, he occupies a prime spot on the Assassin Norms list of high priority targets. Number 4. Poderabo Poderabo, the Primarch of the Iron Warriors Legion, was indeed a great engineer and inventor. He was known for his exceptional skill in matters of architecture, 
engineering, siege warfare and technological innovation. His upbringing on the harsh and technologically advanced world of Olympia nurtured his natural affinity for engineering and construction. He possessed a brilliant mind capable of designing complex fortifications, devastating war machines and ingenious siege tactics. Under his leadership, the Iron Warriors became known for their unparalleled skill in constructing and breaching fortifications and castles. Poterabo's engineering genius extended beyond the fortified castles as well. He was responsible for designing many of the Iron Warriors' most iconic war machines, including heavily armored tanks and artillery pieces. He later also created demon engines for the Black Legion alongside Vashtor the Archiphane. But his most exquisite creation was the Logos Terminator armor. It featured intricate command and control systems connecting him to his forces alongside a variety of weapons and secondary systems of his own design, like a teleport homer and a wrist-mounted sharp-nailed bolter cannon known as the Logos Array. Unlike Rogaldon, who is astute in defense tactics, Poderabo invents and innovates ways to go through defense lines and even lay traps, thus showcasing his inventiveness. Number 5. Vulcan The Primarch of the Salamander Space Marine Legion and later Chapter, he was known for his mastery of fire and affinity to craftsmanship. Vulcan's technological creations and contributions were instrumental in shaping the identity of his legion and leaving a lasting impact on the Imperium. His greatest work were known as the Artifacts of Vulcan, which were created on Nocturne and are as of now lost in the galaxy. But out of the nine, five of them have been recovered, which includes the Chalice of Fire, a colossal forge ship capable of creating advanced weaponry and technology, the Eye of Vulcan, which is an orbital defense laser mounted on the Chalice of Fire. The Spear of Vulcan, another one, is a fiery weapon of immense heat capable of melting even the toughest material. And then we have the Kassaris Mantle, a legendary drake scale cloak worn by Vulcan himself during a critical war. The Gauntlet of the Forge is also one that was recovered, which is an armored gauntlet with an integrated heavy flamer weapon. The missing four artifacts are as follows. The Enigmat Mysterious Engine of Woes, the Obsidian Chariot which has near impregnable armor, a drake-headed staff that produces an entropic beam capable of overwhelming defenses, which is called the Song of Entropy. And lastly, a device of wonder and terror, with its specific abilities remain undisclosed, and it is called the Unbound Flame. So aside from being a perpetual and the strongest Primarch, he was also a genius craftsman and engineer. Number 6. Caesarus the Illuminator, or Illuminor Caesarus, the Necron Cryptech Technomancer known for his twisted genius and unrelenting pursuit of knowledge which have led to numerous advancements in Necron technology and augmentation. Caesarus played a pivotal role in the development and realization of the biotransference process. This process allowed the consciousness of the Necron tier to be transferred into new bodies made out of living metal, resulting in the creation of the immortal and powerful Necron race. While the Kitan, the Star Gods, provided the initial knowledge, Caesarus was the one who made the process a reality. So you can say that the Necrodermis technology, which is the living metal that makes up Necrons, is his making. Also, he has undergone, personally, extensive modifications to his own body, replacing his humanoid legs with arachnoid limbs and adding extra prehensile appendages for finer manipulation. He had built and wields an Eldritch Lance, a staff-like weapon capable of emitting a directed energy beam, atomizing everything. He has also studied the compound eyes of the Vassalan arachnoids, which improved his targeting optics and then the molecular disassembling of the Amble Hide to make his armor more effective. He also possesses potent offensive tools, disintegrating enemies with atomic manipulation and using Empyrean Overloaders to damage Psyker's mines. So in short, his innovations and inventions are OP. Number 7. Belisarius Skull. He is one of the most notable and important figures in the Imperium as of the current era in Domitus. He is also the current Archimagus Dominus of Mars. He is responsible for numerous groundbreaking inventions and technological advancements. So aside from genetically engineering the primary space marines, which in itself says it all, Call also designed the Mark X Power Armor, which combines the best elements of various Horus Heresy era patterns of power armor with modern technological advances. He has also developed advanced versions of standard space marine weaponry, the Mark II Call Pattern Bolt Rifle and the Mark III Belisarius Pattern Plasma Incinerator are examples of his innovative approach. He is credited with the creation of the Redemptor Dreadnought, the Repulsor Graph Tank, a heavily armed and armored vehicle that utilizes anti-gravity technology, and dedicated significant efforts to perfect stasis field technology, which allows for the preservation of objects, subjects, or even entire areas in a state of temporal suspension. 
Other, other controversial creations of his also include the Call Inferior, which is a blend of a servitor brain, and arcane mechanisms allowing Call to communicate over great distances. And also he has developed strategies to counter Necron technology as well. So as of now, Belisarius Call is the greatest inventor and engineer of the Imperium of Man. And now lastly, number 8, Vashtor the Archiphane. Vashtor the Archiphane is depicted as an immensely powerful demon who possesses exceptional knowledge and mastery over technology, invention and engineering. This breadth of knowledge suggests that he is capable of creating and manipulating a vast array of technological marvels. Vashtor's creations often exhibit a fusion of demonic and technological elements. This indicates his ability to merge the chaotic energies of the warp with advanced technological constructs from the material realm, resulting in powerful and unpredictable creations. As he is the ruler of the Forge of Souls, Vashtor has control over demonic engines, which are monstrous and infernal war machines infused with demonic essence. He has also created the Arcs of Omen, which are colossal space vessels designed by him around space hulks that he found in the warp. Anyway, also aside from the extremely advanced bionics he has installed on his body, Vashtar has also recreated a device that was once only able to be forged by the ancient old ones, which tells us that he is at par with them in making stuff. This device is called the Key, and with it he now searches for the old ones lock. And inside of it, there is a device called the Weapon, and he plans to unleash the weapon and destroy the Imperium. With that, he will transcend into Godhood. Maybe he will be the God of the Machines. Or a Chaos God of Creation. So we have come to the end of the video on the 40K's Greatest Inventors and Engineers, the 8 Creators of Killer Weapons. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. You know, it would help us if you subscribed and it would do us a huge favor if you would smash that red button and also like the video to push us through in the YouTube algorithm. But while you're at it, bang on the bell icon as well for notifications on new videos like this. Till the next time, take care, boys.